Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu and today I'm going to be showing you how to download the latest scenario pack that I'm going to play. So I'm going to play the bug fix scenario pack. Um, so in order to do this, what you're going to need is you're going to need the toolkit installed. So that's the top icon just over on the right hand side there. So as long as you've got that, we can proceed to the next step. In the video description, I will put a link to the Reddit thread where it has the download link on there. So on the thread, then it, at the top, it's got an image or album. You can click on that and see a screenshot of the scenarios and also a description as well. And then just scroll down. You've got download them here. And also underneath that, then there's a second scenario pack. So I think what I'll do is I'll download both of them and play through both of them together. So if we click on that, that'll open it up in Google Drive. And then what we can do is we can just click on them one by one and that'll import it into Classic. You can also select or download it to your device and do it that way. You might need a um, file explorer. If you're going to do it that way, you can probably follow the instructions I set out on the Mayan SOS scenario pack. So I'm just going to do it one by one. So if we do click on that, so that'll import it. Now, the key difference with the Mayan pack and this pack is the Mayan packs were all numbered. All the scenarios were numbered. So if you go into more pack scenarios, these ones aren't. So some of them might be in other. Some of them might be then located in um, beginner or expert, and that will show up as and when we download those. So if we just go back, Valley of the Dragon, we click on always, it should do it straight away then. Done. There you go, it's doing it automatically. So I'm just going to go through these one by one and I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've imported the file called Sandbox. And as you can see, when I'm loading it up now, it's got a green circle going around the inside of the black circle that indicates the loading. Now, what I know from trying this previously is that the green circle indicates custom objects. So this is the sandbox designed, I suppose, to play at the end of, of the scenario pack. And then, so let's have a look then. Oh, as you can see, we've got no exit. Oh, there you go. We have got an exit. It's invisible. Um, and then let's have a look. Parving. There's some different types of path in there. That. I think that might be meant to be invisible pardon on um, on PC. There is an option, um, a custom object that's an invisible path. So the peeps can walk on it, but it won't show up. Um, and that's so you can use other objects as pardon. Um, so that might be what this is, but it's not working on classic. Um, let's have a look at the scenery then. Um, oh, there you go. You've got some custom objects there flag made by fisherman um table seats made by liam pie or liampi white water by toontowner and lily pads okay and then let's have a look then miniature railway rideable miniature trains so that's a custom ride in here um double tech deck carousel i believe that's from one of the um, expansion packs. So if you haven't got the expansion pack installed, this might not work for you. Um, coasters. There may be some some bonus cars or something. Um, nothing there. Nothing custom anyway 
and shops. Oh, look, there you go. So you've got custom shops. So that one will do burger and fries. So it's just a little, a little guy with a store. Um, what else have we got? That as well. Oh, these are cool. So that should match. Where is it? If we click that on white there. Yeah, that should. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that makes it easier to integrate shops in with your scenery. And there's different types of them as well. There's ones with the, the corrugated shop, front, wooden. Okay, that's interesting. And some vending machines as well. Um, that's from the expansion. So it might not work on yours. I'm not sure how that's going to work on yours. A map kiosk. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you just plonk that down and guests can pick up a you still gotta open it, but guests can pick up a map from that. That's pretty cool. Um Okay, so what'll happen is once you've if you install this, it'll install the custom objects. So then if we go out of this now if you go into the toolkit park scenario creator when when you're going through let's see if i can remember what were they called um i should have made a note of what they were called let's see if we can find them oh there you go there's the map kiosk so these will then be in your in your game modern concession stand so if you want to then create any scenarios and use these you can do so there well that's from an expansion okay one thing you might need to do though um if you're saving you're saving it um let's have a look if we go into let's start this in the options make sure you've got export plugin options within saved parks ticked i believe you need that when you're doing it it should be ticked as standard but just make sure it is and that way it'll it export the items with your save as well so what i'm going to do now i've installed all of the first pack um so we've got them there beginner challenging expert um annoyingly there's one just down there in other so the sandbox is in that's the, there's no objective for that but the tidal rocks there is an objective so annoyingly that's down there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go and download the second pack so the second pack you can access through this link just there i'll also add a direct link to this thread as well so again you've got the imager link there and then um there you go the top one now download them here and then we got these here so i'm just going to do exactly the same thing just click on that import scroll back archipelago import and i'm just going to carry on doing them one at a time and if there's anything of note that happens i'll let you know okay so i've downloaded all of them now from the first and second pack the only thing of note from the second pack is that there was another scenario called tidal rocks now this is the one from the first pack at the bottom as i said it was annoyingly located in other parks so there is a setting in the scenarios where you can dictate which category it comes under um and then there was also one in the second pack and i thought i'd install that one as well just to see what happens and that one then appears under the expert park so it's got the same goal and the same criteria so i'm going to assume 
that that was just a fix for the second one. So unless there is a, a difference in, in the landscape or anything, I will just play the one from the second pack, which is this one. So when you're doing the first scenario pack, maybe you want to leave that first title rocks out up to you though. Um, yeah, so let's have a look. The first one then is Aspen Meadows. Let's click that. Build a thrilling theme park in this peaceful river valley. Your objective, repay your loan and achieve a park value of at least 300,000. So a fairly simple goal, a nice size park to do it in. And this is going to be the first one that I play when I start the new series. So this was my tutorial on how to install the bug, bug fix scenario pack one and two on Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. I am Stu. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.